favor para você, se eu puder fazer. The tree in the forest should grow as fast as possible and to be a straight individual with a good diameter, which is in average 28 centimeters. Uh, central, por favor, anota o diâmetro, 30 centímetros. The wood must be soft, yeah. because we, we want to have a very smooth uh, sharpenability in the pencil, and we have this with this species, which is the pine Caribe hondurensis. And this species is also really well adapted to this kind of region, because they can survive really well to very dry seasons, at least for six months. We have a planted area of uh, 6,500 hectares and a total of uh, 9,600 uh, hectares. Brazil is a perfect place uh, to grow the pine because it's a tropical country where these species can grow really fast. And Prata specifically, it's a, an agricultural land where we are growing our own wood since the end of the 80s, which is already ready for harvesting. We plant more than 300,000 seedlings per year, what means that in average we grow one truck load per hour. What we see here is a very young plantation, which is 10 months old. The seedlings, they are made from the seeds from our forests, which are already improved, so we have chosen the best individuals. When the harvesting is done, we prepare one line in between the old lines we clean the area, we rip the soil, and then we plant manually each seedling, which is from 20 to 25 centimeters. Since uh, we cut a piece of our forest every year, we have all ages in our forests. For example, this is 10 months old, but we also have forests which are three years old, five years, 10 years, and up to 20 years. And by this time, they are ready for harvesting. We are here in a stand which is three years old and we are pruning the trees. And this means that we are cutting off the branches because when you have knots like this, you have bad quality for pencils. And all the wood that's growing outside this part is going to be free of knots. So we have the perfect wood to produce our pencils. The most important work here is the fire prevention. What we do yearly is to prepare our areas with fire breaks in strategic areas near to the places that we could have some fire. We also have a program where we warn people about the danger of the fire. Uh, we also give them our free dialing number so they can call us and tell us if there is a fire near to our forests. And then the second part is that we have a very nice brigade we have more than 40 people trained uh, to fight fire. We also have uh, two surveillance towers where there is uh, people checking if there is smoke somewhere. And we also have equipments to fight fires like manual equipment and two water trucks. This is a nature reserve. This is one part of the 3,000 hectares we have uh, conserved in the total area of Faber-Castell. Here you can see a river. You can see different species of the flora, including these beautiful palms here, which are called buritis. And this is a very important ecosystem. This is protected by law. And here we can find over 660 species of the local fauna. We find over 70 species of mammals. You can find here the manned wolf. You can also find the giant anteater. 
We find more than 260 species of uh, birds and over 200 species of ants. They are a really nice bioindicator uh, because they don't want to live in degraded areas. So the bigger the number of species you can find in the forest, it's a, an indicative that this environment is really well preserved. My microphone is hearing the, the mosquitoes. They, they are like making noises in my, my ear. 